I'm Tsubasa Marioi from Kanazawa University, Japan. I would like to talk about single-fingered reconfigurable robotic gripper with a folding mechanism for narrow working spaces. In logistics and supermarkets, automation of loading and unloading of products in confined spaces is required. So, the demand for handling objects in narrow spaces is increasing. Here is a typical example of a product inside a walled-in area, often found in supermarkets. The small open space at the top makes it difficult for conventional parallel jaw grippers to insert into the interior and grasp the product inside. The gripper needs to be slimmed down for the insertion. Several grasping systems have been developed to deal with the grasping in narrow spaces. One solution is the use of suction. However, it is difficult to grasp objects without a flat surface. There are also alternative methods. However, these systems require a large space for approach. A thinner gripper is required to grasp an object in a narrow space. Here is our solution. We developed a single-fingered reconfigurable robotic gripper. As you can see here, the gripper was inserted into the box. The mode was then changed to grasp the object. Finally, the object was taken out of the box. To complete this kind of task, the gripper has these features. First, the gripper has the two modes of insertion and grasping. Second, the gripper is thin especially in the insertion mode. Third, the two modes and their switching were realized by only single actuator. To achieve this, a folding mechanism for mode switching was installed. Now, I will present the developed robotic gripper design. The gripper has only single finger, and its design is shown in the left side. The right side shows a typical example of mode switching in this gripper. If moving the slide base downside, the four links comprising the finger move like this. The connect pin in the middle link reaches the protrusion at the slotted hole of the lower link, and the motions of the lower and fingertip links stop. If continuing to move the slide base, the clip pin in the middle link reaches the spring clip in the upper link, and the spring clip snaps with the clip pin. To achieve these motions in the desired sequence, the force required to pass over the protrusion should be larger than the force required for the snapping. The condition was achieved by designing the nail of spring clip and curvature of the protrusion. If continuing to move the slide base, the connect pin passes over the protrusion, and the grasping mode was achieved, like this. After that, the opening and closing of the gripper was done by controlling the slide base. This is the active mode switching, and this is available at any time. We have another mode switching. That is partial passive mode switching. First, the motor torque is turned off and the gripper was moved downward by the robotic arm with this gripper, like this. If the fingertip makes a contact with the table, the contact force is transmitted to the motor through the series connected links. The motor, slide base, and the fingertip link then rotates passively. After the fingertip link completely rotates, the motor is turned on to actively move the slide base downward. Thereafter, the sequence is the same as the active mode switching. This is effective when the required amount of fingertip insertion is unclear, like this. Lastly, I will present the procedure for switching from grasping mode to insertion mode. The finger can switch the mode by moving the slide base upward. First, the connecting pin in the lower link climbs over the protrusion of the lower link. 
Next, the snapped clip is unlocked. To achieve these motions in the desired sequence, the force required to climb over the protrusion should be smaller than the force required for the snapping. The condition was achieved by designing the shape of the protrusion so that the upper part is sharp, while the lower part is gradual. If summarizing, the protrusion was designed to require a large force from the upper side and a small force from the lower side for passing over the protrusion. If continuing to move the slide base upward, the middle and lower links return to their original states. After that, the lower and fingertip links return to their original states, like this. Now, I will show the evaluation results. First, the grasping test was conducted, using partial passive mode switching. In the test, the gripper was attached to an automatic positioning stage, and the objects placed on the table were grasped. Next, the gripper grasped the upper tray of the double-stacked styrofoam trays, using active mode switching. Finally, this is conclusion. This study presented a novel single-fingered reconfigurable robotic gripper with a single actuator for grasping objects in narrow spaces. The gripper is equipped with insertion and grasping modes on its finger. The two rotation methods allow for mode switching in two different ways. In the future, the operation and automation of the developed gripper in narrow spaces will be investigated. Thank you for your kind attention.